Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing a new Ninjago crystallized theory of sorts that has to do with Oni Lloyd and whether or not Oni Lloyd will be the evil form of Lloyd, I guess you could say. That's what I want to talk about in today's video. We're just going to be having a pretty general discussion about Oni Lloyd, what exactly its role will be in Ninjago crystallized and how exactly Lloyd could get to this form. And of course, discussing whether or not this form will be evil in nature. Before we begin today's video, Video, though I must give you guys a quick couple of disclaimers. For one, this video will in fact contain spoilers for a lot of Ninjago Crystallized that we have so far, specifically the first 12 episodes of the season. And also because this video is a theory video in nature, you guys can expect some speculation to follow as the majority of my theories do come from speculation, obviously. So keep that in mind as we continue moving forward. This is not what's going to happen. This is just what I think is going to happen. So in regard to Golden Oni Lloyd, what exactly do we know about this new form for Lloyd? Well, well, honestly, we hardly know anything regarding this new form right now. The form itself can be found in the new upcoming Ninjago crystallized set known as Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon or Lloyd's Ultra Golden Dragon, some combination of those specific words. The set includes a figure which is known as Golden Oni Lloyd, as you can see on your screen right now. And this thing very much looks like an Oni version of Lloyd, similar to how Garmadon unlocked his Oni form during March of the Oni and subsequently utilized it during his own spin-off comic series, it very much seems like a similar thing. Lloyd unlocked his Oni form and thus has the powers of the Oni similar to Garmadon, except Lloyd's is golden, and why might that be? I've theorized before that this new golden Oni Lloyd may in fact be a combination of both Oni and Dragon Heritage, since we know Lloyd's complexion is based on both of those bloodlines. While Garmadon's Oni form was pure evil because of his resurrected dark form, Lloyd's might be a combination of the two, but that doesn't mean it'll be good by nature. In fact, having so much power at once could easily corrupt Lloyd and make him turn to the dark side, or at least have him be a little bit more destructive than usual? It's difficult to determine whether or not Lloyd will be evil per se, but Oni by nature are very destructive, and even though this is a golden Oni, which means it might have some similarities to dragons as well, I still think it's going to be destructive because it is an Oni form. Oni by nature are destructive beings. I have a feeling Lloyd might strive to unlock this power to defeat the Crystal King. Maybe this is the final push of energy he needs in order to defeat the Overlord or the Crystal King, but then again, the Overlord and the Crystal King are probably the same character, so again, they're kind of interchangeable there. Either way, to defeat the Crystal King and to destroy the entire Vengestone army, Lloyd may have to unlock this new power because maybe this new army and the Crystal King's Vengestone forces are simply too much for Lloyd to handle on his own. Lloyd's Oni form could be exactly like Garmadon's. It could be insanely strong, insanely durable, and it's simply a new power up that Lloyd could utilize to defeat the forces of darkness. It makes sense to me that this new Oni form is basically the next step in Lloyd's power, but where exactly does that come from? I feel like it might possibly come from training with Garmadon. I imagine and Garmadon if he's going to be in Ninjago Crystallized, which is very likely considering his presence in the Crystallized Set Wave. It seems like Garmadon may help train Lloyd to unlock this new Oni form, which of course would make sense considering how Garmadon utilized it many times throughout the series. Except Lloyd might take it a little bit too far, leading to a mix of both Dragon and Oni, a hybrid that could be very destructive and very chaotic in nature, hence why Lloyd could easily become evil or more destructive in this new Ninjago season. This theory is backed up even further from a very specific scene during Ninjago Jago Season 11, Secrets of the Forbidden Spinjitsu. I've talked about this sequence earlier in previous videos, but there's a moment in the season in which the ninja themselves, or at least some of the ninja, come across a mirror in the Explorers Club that reflects their greatest fear back to them. And I think it's worth noting that all of the fears that we've seen so far have indeed come true, with Nia becoming a normal person wearing the exact same outfit after she lost her power to Asphira in order to restore her human form. That is the exact same normal human outfit there, therefore Nia's greatest fear came true. Zane saw himself as a purely robotic being lack of any emotion, and as I'm sure you guys can recall in Ninjago Crystallized's first couple of episodes, Zane disabled his emotion chip, focusing on logic instead of emotion. He would restore his emotion chip later in the season, but Zane's greatest fear did in fact come to life for a brief moment in time during Ninjago Crystallized. In terms of what Lloyd saw, Lloyd saw his greatest fear as him becoming his father, Lloyd turning into Garmadon, at least figuratively, probably not literally. And as I previously said, because the other two greatest fears from the other ninja that saw their reflections were in fact realized during Ninjago Crystallized, it's highly likely that Lloyd's will be as well, hence this new Golden Oni form may in fact corrupt him, turn him evil, whatever you want to call it. As I've said earlier in the video, this Golden Oni form may simply be too much power for Lloyd to handle, he might cross the streams a little bit between Oni and Dragon, creating something ultimately destructive for Ninjago as opposed to something that may save the day. While it may defeat the Overlord or the Crystal King, the ninja may in fact have a new problem on their hands after Lloyd defeats the Overlord. That problem 
problem being Lloyd himself. I'm not sure if the Ninjago series would even try to do something like this, but I could totally imagine that after the final battle is concluded, after the Crystal King is defeated, the ninja may be faced with a new problem, that problem being Lloyd himself. Again, with that Oni and Garmadon mindset of conquering everything, Lloyd may adopt his new power and take it a step further, possibly trying to rule the entirety of Ninjago in a similar fashion to his father. I think that would be an excellent way to bring Lloyd's character full circle, having him be an enemy of the ninja, just like how he was during his initial appearance in the Ninjago series. There's also the idea of corruption via the Crystal King. Maybe this is the Crystal King's way of corrupting Lloyd, possibly turning him to his side. I mean, Golden Oni Lloyd does indeed sound like some type of enemy or some type of villain identity, and maybe the Crystal King just wanted Lloyd on his side. There was that awkward moment during Ninjago Crystallize where Harumi visited Lloyd at the prison. That very well could have been an extension of the Crystal King for Lloyd to join his cause, and if that's the case, maybe the Crystal King just wants Lloyd because Lloyd is one of the most powerful beings across all of Ninjago. Convincing Lloyd to turn against Ninjago would be an excellent win for the Crystal King, and it would only increase the power of his army. Maybe when Lloyd refuses, the Crystal King could take advantage of Lloyd's heritage, perhaps corrupt something deep inside him, and ultimately turn him into Golden Oni Lloyd, one of the most powerful members of the Crystal King's council. In this scenario, Golden Oni Lloyd might be some type of Frankenstein together monster version of Lloyd, created by the Overlord experimenting on him, crossing streams between his heritage and his blood, and overall just turning Lloyd into an absolute monster, a shell of his former self. This version of Lloyd may in fact be a mindless creature, only bent on destruction and chaos, programmed by the Crystal King to be terrifying in every single way. If the Crystal King does indeed turn out to be the Overlord, I can see how instead of fighting Lloyd this go around, he would try to convince him to join his side. And if Lloyd could not be convinced through natural methods, well, maybe the Overlord has a little bit more of an extreme method in mind that might be a little bit more against Lloyd's will. And I think that's the most likely option right now, Golden Oni Lloyd being an experiment done by the Overlord on Lloyd, but that idea may be a little bit too excessive, maybe a little bit too extreme, so maybe it's not that likely after all. I think there's a couple of different directions that Ninjago could take with this new Golden Oni Lloyd form, and I threw a couple of ideas at you guys in today's video. I'm not really sure which one you guys think is the best. Maybe all of them, maybe none of them, and that's completely fine. That'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here today, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in to today's video. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about my ideas regarding Golden Oni Lloyd, and be sure to leave all your theories and speculation down below as well. The comment section is open for discussion. Feel free to take advantage of that. And with that being said, guys, like I said, that'll wrap it up for my thoughts here today. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again later. Peace.